Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in the last video we take, took a look at the manipulation functionality of jQuery and we looked at append and we looked at how to append a particular value from a text box onto um, a, the end of a sentence inside a paragraph tag. So if you haven't already looked at that, go ahead and take a look at that. Now we're going to take a look at append2. Now let's just say we have a paragraph just up here and I'm going to give this an ID ID of paragraph 1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy and paste that here and I'm just going to call this paragraph 2. Now I'm going to put some content inside paragraph 1 so this is a paragraph. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow a button to then take this and append it to the end of here. So, uh, oh, in, in, in actual fact, we'll do this example. I'll put my name here and my name is and a space here. So eventually what I want to do is uh, click a button and I want this paragraph here to be appended to the end of this paragraph here. So instead of going through the process of taking the element's contents, what I actually want to do is reference this paragraph one and append it to the end of paragraph two. So let's go ahead and up here just create a paragraph and inside of this create an input field or a button, sorry. Um, I'm going to give this a value of append two and the ID of this I'll call append. Okay, so inside append.js, which we have included on our page, we can go ahead and create an event handler for this button, and then go ahead and use the append to function to append this paragraph here to this paragraph here. Let's go ahead and create our event handler first. So we've called the button append. So when the button is clicked, we want to carry out a particular function. And inside this function block, let's just bring it down a moment. Uh, we want to append this first paragraph to the second paragraph. So we reference the first paragraph, which is paragraph one, and then we use dot append two instead of just append on its own, and then we can simply choose another element on the page. So this is obviously paragraph two. So now when we've clicked the button, paragraph one will be appended to the end of paragraph two. Let's just open up our browser and take a look at this. Okay, so we've got Alex just here. When we click append to, this Alex here should be referenced and appended to the end of here. Let's go ahead and click it. Okay, so um, you can see that we have a slight problem and that is the fact that I have Alex inside of a paragraph. Let's just go back and change this and I'm gonna change this here to a span uh, because then we'll have the contents all on one line. Um, let's just change this here to span and this just to paragraph and we'll go ahead and change these names accordingly. Okay, so that was my mistake. The uh, example uh, looked a bit odd. Okay, so now when we click append to, you can see it now says my name is Alex. Now you'll also notice that the first, uh, the span has actually been moved rather than just uh, cloned and appended to the end of here. So what we're actually doing is we're taking one element and we're appending the whole of the element onto the end of another. So you can un you can so start to see how useful this would be in a more practical application if you were actually taking values and you wanted to place them. For example, if you had a user that was, uh, for example, constructing something, constructing a sentence or, you know, something along them lines. Or maybe you had something like a menu builder that built menus up. You might want to append the different uh, menu items, the subcategories onto the main menu. Uh, there's the uses for append to are really unlimited, um, obviously against your imagination. So what we've taken is we've taken this span here and we've appended it, essentially removed it and placed it here. And that's what you see on the page. So let's just take a look at the page source. You can see that we've got the span. Oh no, it's it, it won't show because we've, um, we're obviously using jQuery and that's not gonna show up in the source. Uh, but essentially this is what would have happened. Uh, this is the, uh, the result of when we used the append to uh, by appending this span onto that paragraph. 